This is Shirley Jan Johnson, January 29th, 2016. On this video, I'm going to prove to you that Jonathan Cain and Paula White are not married. I've always stated that I never believed that they were married. I've always believed that it was just a big deception. Well, the other day I was doing some research and I came across a document that proves that these two individuals are not married. And I'll get to that document in just a moment. But Nicholas Duncan Williams, Paula White's so-called uh, spiritual covering, stated that he married Jonathan Cain and Paula White sometime in 2014 in Ghana, Africa. Give God a shout for Archbishop Duncan Williams as he comes this morning. Are you excited about tonight? You know, sometime last year in Ghana, I said to Pastor Paula and John that we gotta get you married right now. You know, so we did the we did the first one on the mountain, the prayer mountain in Ghana. Looking forward to tonight as we come together to celebrate the love between Pastor Paula and Jonathan. Uh, we have already experienced this at the prayer mountain. I uh, had the opportunity last year to join Pastor Paula and Jonathan in marriage. And on this video clip coming up, you'll hear Paula White referring to herself as Paula Michelle Kane. Kingdom, you better let the devil know right now. Hey, devil, I've got to let you know something. Hey, hey, guys, watching, I've got to let you know something. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, not my education, not my knowledge, not my experience, not my resume, not the people I know, not what I have, not who I'm married to. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth will deliver me Paula Michelle Kane. As you can see on the screen, Paula White has her name hyphenated as Paula White. Cain. Now, if Paula truly was married to Jonathan Cain, there's no way that her name would be Paula Michelle Cain or Paula White Cain because Jonathan Cain is just his nickname. It's a, basically it's a, a fictitious name. It's just a stage name like um, the same as like Kid Rock or Cheap Trick. Say for instance Paula married Kid Rock. Would her name be Paula Rock? No. She would have to take on whatever his real name is, Paula whatever his last name is. So there's no way that she could be quote unquote Paula Michelle Kane or Paula White Kane as she refers to herself because Jonathan Kane his real name is Jonathan L. Friga, and sometimes he goes by John L. Friga. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. It's F-R-I-G-A. So if she truly was married to him, she would be Paula Michelle Friga or Paula White Friga, not Cain. So as I stated earlier, I came across a document, and this document is a matter of public record. So on November 6, 2015, just seven months after they supposedly got married and they formed a limited liability company and it's called Prayer Glory LLC. In the articles of organization there are two people listed as managers. The first person is Paula White and the second is John L. Friga. There's also a required signature of a member or an authorized representative of a member and that signature reads Paula White. Under the signature line it reads this document is executed in accordance with section 605.02031B Florida statutes. I am aware that any false information submitted in a document to the Department of State constitutes a third degree felony as provided for in section 817.155 FS. That's why Jonathan Cain put his name as John L. Friga, because that's his name. He could not put a fictitious name on there. You can't put Jonathan Cain because that's a fictitious name. And by the same token, Paula, if she was married to him, she couldn't just put Paula White on there. If she's claiming to be Paula White Cain, really should be Paula White Friga, she would have to put her legal name on there if she's taking his name. 
she claims that she's taking his name. She claims she's Paula Michelle Kane, Paula White Kane, Paula Kane, she claims, which is not true because Kane is just a fictitious name. It's a deception, people. And so clearly Paula White is Paula White's real name, unless she's committing a third degree felony by putting false information in this document or concealing information. And so I, I don't know if they have to present a, any, any type of ID to show who they are when they uh, sign these documents or not. But if they do, then apparently whatever she showed as identification says Paula White, which would be a driver's license or passport or whatever. Section 817.155 states this. A person may not, in any matter within the jurisdiction of the Department of State, knowingly and willfully falsify or conceal a material fact, make any false, fictitious, or fraudulent statement or representation, or make or use any false document, knowing the same to contain any false, fictitious, or fraudulent statement or entry. A person who violates this section is guilty of a felony of the third degree, punishable as provided in Section 775.082, 775.083, or 775.084. The statute of limitations for prosecution of an act committed in violation of this section is five years from the date the act was committed. So again, clearly you can see that Paula White put her legal name, her real name, it's Paula White, not Paula Michelle Kane, not Paula White Kane, but Paula White. And Jonathan Kane put his real name, which is John L. Friga. So they're not married. It's, it was just an elaborate hoax, a deception. In the articles, the name and address of the persons who are authorized to manage and control the limited liability company, the first name on the list is Paula. So that means she's running the show. And the authorized representative is Paula. She signed it. So she's always preaching about when she gets married, her husband's going to be the head. She's going to be submissive. But tr clearly, you can see that that's not true. Now, if he truly was the man and running the house and being the head of the house, as she always preaches, he would have his name on there first as the first member, and he would be the authorized representative. He would have signed this document. She would have been secondary. You can clearly see who's running this company, and that would be Paula. Now, there you have it, people. They are not married. And this is the reason that he never refers to her as his wife. If you haven't um, listened to the other messages that I've done about uh, on their marriage, go back and listen to them. And that's the first thing I, I just kept noticing over and over. He never states, this is my wife. She's always this woman or my honey or baby or never my wife. And she used to never refer to him as her husband until I pointed it out. Then she started saying, oh, this is my husband. This is my husband. But he never says, this is my wife. Now, after they view this video, he might start calling her his wife then. And as Paula White was preaching, she said, you know, there's a reason why, you know, if you're with a man and he, you're, it's a reason why he doesn't want you to be seen with you on his arm. There's a reason why uh, if she has a man and she won't tell anybody what his name is. There's a reason. And that's what I said. There's a reason why Jonathan refuses to call her his wife. And now you know the reason. The reason is they're not married. So they're still shacking. And Paula preaches to others about shacking and talks about the woman at the well shacking. Her third problem in conclusion was relationships. When this woman came to the well, she was carrying more on her back than water pots. She had a whole list of men. She had known them, but she hadn't known them. She had been with them, but she had not been with them. And your relationships are a reflection of your soul. Because God is not going to bless that mess. He's about to shift your situation. And this woman had a relationship, come on, she was shacking up with. She had five, five husbands, and now she's shacking up with a situation. And the problem is the truth of it, because we're going to not pretend, right, that we've got people that are shacking up with a life that does not belong to them. And she's shacking. So you see, it was just an elaborate hoax, elaborate deception. And she went to great lengths to deceive her own family members, 
church members, the whole body of Christ was on the internet worldwide. She has all these people all around the world uh, deceived. They even solicited wedding donations on New Destiny's um, website. And they are not even married. So it's just a deception. And all of those wedding donations that they received, that needs to be returned. Or they need to go to jail. Because that's fraud. Staging a marriage. The whole bit. The wedding dress. The cake. You know, inviting people. Invited her parents. Invited all these people to this hoax. They need to produce a marriage certificate. One that has been signed. I think you have to send it in to some some government agency and it has to be recorded and has an official stamp and everything on it. You can't just walk around saying I'm married and we're married and there's no record of it anywhere. She claims that she was getting married again on April the 23rd here in America since she had already been married. This is the third time I'm going to get married at, supposedly to prove to people. I mean if you wanted to prove to someone you're married just whip out the marriage certificate and say and don't whip out a fake. Don't whip out a fake. Whip out the true, the real. Whip out the genuine marriage certificate showing that you're married. Now these are her immediate family members, her supposed to be church family, and you're deceiving the church family, your own church family, the whole body, making a, making a mockery of the body of Christ. That's why God says, know those who labor among you. And Paula herself, tells you, you've got to investigate, investigate for the truth. To investigate means to observe or to inquire into detail in order to discover the truth. It is a systematic examination, but you look at the whole situation and you gather all the information. And that's what I do. I investigate. But anyway, people, there you have it. The Bible said, know those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord. And so now you know that Paula White and Jonathan Cain are not married. They're just shacking. And if they do produce a legitimate marriage certificate and it's proven somehow that they truly are married, then I will upload to YouTube a public apology to them. But the Bible says, abstain from all appearance of evil. And it appears that they are not married, but they are just shacking.